Hi, I'm Peter from Field Archery and Cut, and today I'm going to be looking at the Tragtech Titan. And in my mind, this is this is the, the forerunner of modern hunting ILF rigs. It's the first item of its kind. The closest you had at the time was the, the Dastala um, by uh, what's his name? Was, uh, David A. Souza. But you can get those in ILF now. But at the time. They had the uh, Hoyt system, which was the dovetail, but you had a screw on the back. Um, so you had to buy their limbs. Um, so this was the only one where you could actually get international limb, limb fittings, uh, limbs, so you could get from different companies. But I actually, uh, this, this one actually came with the uh, Tradtech carbon wood limbs. This is a 60 inch bow, 70 inch riser, medium limbs, uh, 50 at 28. Um, from memory, I think it's seven three quarter, eight and a quarter uh, brace height. They did give all the brace sites in, in, in a, 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 a downloadable manual. Uh, this is a stunning bow. Um, all, you know, plunge a button. Not that there's one on there that's been built up to off the shelf. They did originally have, I don't know if they've got around it, but in the first castle they actually had a, like, a little screw in. Uh, it wasn't available, but it was actually in the castle. They had a little screw in uh, machine piece um, that screwed into the, the plunger button that created uh, a, a sort of a real sort of tiny little machines rest there uh, so you were shooting off a very small shelf less contact I, they didn't didn't have it for the first few years now I can't remember how old this is I'm gonna say around 2010 ish maybe a little bit earlier anyway um, say the, I don't, the, the guy at Lancaster because um, Trad Tech Archery so I'm gonna sneeze uh, Trad Tech Archery uh, is was the is the traditional um, division of Lancaster Archery and um, the, the day, I think the, I think the first bow was the pinnacle, which was a 19 inch laminated uh, wood riser. Um, but this was their first metal riser. And I think they've done the, the, the Titan II, and as far as I know, that's it. Um, they've just done uh, a lot more of the wooden risers, um, sort of 17s and 19s. I think they might be Galaxy Embers or something. Anyway, but in my mind, this was the forerunner. This is the one that started it all off. Uh, it's still a very, very sexy looking bow. Uh, so anyway, usual thing, uh, check the panels, check the uh, draw weight, brace height, sorry, brace height, well it is, it is, no there you go, eight and a quarter, right, panel ish, as usual we've got the, uh, 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 yeah, set at 28, Not, you can see the limbs in action. Right. As soon as the uh, great big nylon block hits the right arm, we should be at 28. There. It's, it's coming up at 52. Hopefully that focuses. Right. Maybe it's 10, 12, 13 years old. I actually don't know how old this is. Right, put that out of the way. So, we're going at 52 at 28. Uh, but yeah, it says 50. Um, I measured this the update was down on 50. The, these springs, maybe it's because it's cold. It says a little bit more resistance there. Right, so, uh, that's it. So, oh, yeah, so I'm saying, so the, the, sort of the driving force at the time was a guy named. John Work, who's a real nice guy, doesn't work for them anymore. Um, but I don't know whether he invented it, I don't know whether he designed this, I don't know who designed this either. It just came in the uh, the Tradtech, well, in the Lancaster ca ca catalogue, and then they had their own Tradtech catalogue thereafter, uh, because it became so popular. But uh, in the first, 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 when it was first came out, it was just, it was just a tiny little entry, it's like a half a page uh, for their trad boats, uh, their, their own their own brand driver. Obviously they had you know, bear and might be in Bearpool and a couple of others. Right. So, eight and a quarter inch brace height, 52 at 28. I said, definitely, I measured this at 50 um, yesterday at QRC. So, there you go. 
Let's draw it up again just in case someone wants it. I normally do two. I don't know why I only did the one there. And I say these limbs are beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, there you go. I've got the 50 this time. I must have somehow managed to pull the extra two pounds from somewhere. Right, so, uh, selection of barrels. Start off with the heaviest, and we're going to go for 250 spine. Uh, this has got 315 pile, 150 grain insert, total weight of 760 grains. That's quiet. But again, 760 grain arrow, 149 feet per second. Stunning. This is another 250 spine, uh, 250 pile, 100 inserts, so 350 up front, and 646, 646 grains. 50 pound buck. And 157 feet per second. Right, next one is uh, 340 spine with 150 insert and 200 pile, so 350 up front. Total weight of 608 grains. Hundred and sixty two feet per second. Now, in all honesty, I can't remember where, where this string came from. This string didn't come from this bow. And when I was sorting it out, uh, but this is the quickest one, the nearest one I could find. So, hey ho, we'll see what happens. But still, 162 feet per second. I think I need to work with the brace height a little bit more. It's a little buzz. It's not loud, but hey ho. 162 feet per second with 608 grain hour. Right. Total weight 555, uh, another 340 spine. Uh, this is a uh, 200 pile and 100 in sets, so 300 up front. Total weight of 555. Five. 167 feet per second again. Oh, I just got 167 feet per second. Let me shoot that one again. Punching them out so hard, I'm struggling to get them out of my, my back, back stop. Right, target. Right, so let's turn that in. This is 555. Five, five. 170 feet per second. Right, now we're going for 400 spine. Uh, with 150 grade insert AM175, so 325, and that is 564 grains total weight. Oh, and really, 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 really weak. <laughs> okay, um, 168 feet per second, that's because it came out sideways. Never mind, all right, so this should be slightly better. Uh, yeah, and I was going to put the 200 the other way around, so actually, hold on, this, this will be working. So again, 400 spine. Oh, these are way past centre shot, by the way. Um, just looking at it, I'm going to say that's most probably 
three sixteenths of an inch past centre. Uh, right, so four hundred spine, uh, hundred grain insert, two hundred grain pole. Three hundred front total weight of five five two, and I suspect again it's going to come outside of it. But that three forty spine was pretty nice. Slightly weak, 170 feet per second. That was better. Quieter. Right, so, uh, 500 spine uh, with 100. This might come out so this as well. With 150 uh, insert and uh, 175, so again 325 up front. 538 grains. Yeah, weak. 174 feet per second. It just, um, you're losing it because you're losing. You, 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 it's underspined. They're, they're trying to catch up. The back's trying to catch up in the front. Uh, I think those those ones that were slightly stiff, they were a true representation of how much power this has got. Right, so. Uh, another 500 spine with two, seven, so 175 and 100, so it should be better. Even this stiff, and this is total weight of 498. So 10 grains per pound, and 179 feet per second. 10, oh, 10 grains per pound, it's nice. I'm gonna get those out of the way because it's getting a little bit tough. I've only got two to shoot, but it's getting tight in there. They also used to offer three different types of grip, high, low and medium, uh, in the wooden grip. And I think Jaeger make a grip for it. Well, I know Jaeger make a grip for it. Uh, so that last one was 179 feet per second. Right. 600 spine, Victory V4 Junior, uh, with a 125 uh, grain pile. Do you know what? That is only slightly weak. If I'd have put a 100 grain pile on there, that would have been spot on. It was as quiet as a 760 grain, less, less of above actually, and 202 feet per second. So it, that might be your 3D arrow, apart from. This is a bitchy VAP, VAP, VAP uh, 600 spine, but it's only got an 80 grain insert, so a total weight of 254 grains. Um, Now, I keep having this argument with people, and I, I don't know, but IBOs, uh, five grains per pound. People keep quoting, and, and most, most trade companies quote eight to ten grains per pound. What I like about um, the, my manufacturers, they don't have any weight. And I know another compound manufacturer only has four grains per pound. So, you know, if, you have, if you have faith in your glue up process, I still believe you should be able to shoot what, what you like. I wouldn't, I don't advocate light arrows because they don't fly well, <laughs> strangely enough. Uh, but this actually, I've just shot this just off camera, it flies really, really well, it's really, really quiet. And you're looking at your, your, your five grains per pound. And I've always looked at, and I know people in shooting the target um, world, and um, they go down to five grains per pound with their aces and their X-10s and their pro draws and this, that and everything else. And they don't have any problems, their bows don't blow up. And they're shooting ILF bows. Yes, longer risers. That's a really, really, really big dog there, which means there's people involved, so let me just stand and get rid of it. But let me go and shoot this quickly. About 220 feet per second. So, that is the TradTech Titan, a 7 inch riser. 220 feet per second with a 10, 15 year old bubble, or whatever it is, whatever they came out from, I mean, you have to. I'll, I'll try and put the link in the description. I'll put all the relevant information in the description. Uh, 
their carbon wood limbs, very, very quiet, very, very stable. Uh, stunning bows. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous?